Hi. I'm filming on a different thing today, so apologies if stuff looks different. Happy New Year! As my first video for this new year, I wanted to do like my best books of 2019. And last year I made a video of like superlatives and like my best books and stuff. I'm just gonna do the same as I did then. I have tried to overlap some of the categories that I used last year, this year, but obviously some of them don't apply because they were quite like niche. <laughs> We're starting off with best sci-fi series, which goes to uh, J.Y. Yang's The Tensorit series, and this is the second book in it, the others are elsewhere. Next up is Daikia Summer Book, which goes to the Sophie Horowitz story by Sarah Shulman. Next we have Grossest Daikia's Book, The Tiger Flu by Larissa Lai. Then we have Best Book to Read After Having Read Gentrification of the Mind by Sarah Shulman last year, and that's Rat Bohemia by Sarah Shulman. <laughs> Most remarkable book for its publication gate date. <laughs> Gay. Um, most... <laughs> Most remarkable book for its publication date. Oh my god. <laughs> Most remarkable book for its publication date goes to Mrs. Dalloway, which was published in 1925 and it wasn't censored, even though it's like there's explicit gayness in here. Like it's extremely on the page and blatant and like. Largest book goes to The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Best poetry plus best exploration of language, colonialism, and meaning goes to Whereas by Laylee Long Soldier. Most charming protagonist goes to Janie from Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Gayest, cutest graphic novel series goes to Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. And that's volume one, and that's volume two. Best books about mothering and grief goes to To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf and The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison. Best writing about giving birth goes to The Old Wives Tale by Arnold Bennett. Best book about care, resistance, magic, and sickness goes to I Shall Wear Midnight by Terry Pratchett, third in the Tiffany Aching series. Best historical fiction novel, which includes great writing about nature and growing up, goes to All Among the Bully by Melissa Harrison. Most recommended book and best nonfiction goes to Full Surrogacy Now by Sophie Lewis. Best book about trauma and pain goes to The Wooden Doctor by Margia Evans and Will and Testament by Vigdis Jorth? Jort? Sorry, Mari. And all the Norwegians. Will and Testament also picks up most convincing case for abolishing the family. Most convincing case for becoming a <laughs> cop hating lesbian communist, which goes to Stone Butch Blues by Leslie Feinberg. Absolute best books of the year go to To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, I Shall Wear Midnight by Terry Pratchett, and Howard's End by Ian e. Forster. Two bonus categories that I have, and the first is the book that I most wanted to get to in 2019 and that I just didn't get to, which is this big biography of Eleanor Marks, and I did kind of start reading it, but like only like 0.1% of it considering how big it is. And the other bonus is best book of the decade, which has to be taken, I think, by Howard's End and Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit by Jeanette Winterson. I think that's everything I wanted to say. I'm sorry if I've been looking funny, like, well, I'm using my phone, which means it's just like a different setup. And I'm also very tired, but I hope you're all having good Januaries and hopefully I will see you again soon. <laughs> yeah, cool, bye. Oh, and I would love to hear about your, like, best books of 2019 and if you have any for the specific categories that I talked about then let me know, that'd be cool. Okay, I'm gonna go see Cats now, bye!